I didn't sleep anything. It was so cold. 6.30. Today, it's the performance day. Nihao. Good morning, good morning. Nihau. Ready? Ready. Are you I ready? Feel, yeah, I feel more nervous than you, I guess. Uh, well, I can't even. So this this is one of our coaches, oh health fund coach, Demi Fong. Say hi. Yeah. So hi. <laughs> hi. Don't be shy. The Chinese students that you will see perform. They live here as a group. They train together. They eat together every day, all year round. Mom, yeah, today is really, really cold. I don't know how they are gonna perform. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's it. Nice to meet you. The Sifu Simpson Hollywood actor. The look uh, intimidates me. Their practice will be dedicated to training martial arts. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they finish school and they come here and do their culture studies, calligraphy studies, music studies, and physical training all in the school. The idea is kind of for them to train for five years or longer and become coaches. Okay. So they might become instructors at schools or other things like that. How was it? <laughs> no, no stamina. Uh. Tiring. We're all his disciples, so we all follow him. Mm -hmm. um, he's like our the example. So everything that he's making us practice, he's also done. So if you have any doubt, you ask for your brothers. Or you can ask to him. Uh, normally, people are a little nervous to ask Sifu, so yeah, we ask each other first. <laughs> you have your physical practice, but you also have to have your academic practice. You also have to have something for your body, something for your mind. And then the last one, you have to have something for your spirit. So you have to have something for your emotions. So a lot of times, the music is like your kind of like spiritual meditation, you could say. He's asking him to do the last, the last phrase of the song. He's saying like, you know, you have to keep up on your own study. A lot of times uh, the students get a little bit lazy outside of class and don't, they only train in the class, but they don't spend any time trying to practice on their own. Mm -hmm. That's really important for the music, but especially important for like everything we do. Man, I feel so nervous for them. <laughs> this is normal. You have to add some pressure. It's lots of pressure, only the look of the Sifu is, uh, is lots of pressure for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Imagine five years of that. <laughs> Here it's a little bit different. Um, they don't really try to coddle the students or like keep them safe. They try to challenge them. And that also means a little bit more discipline, a lot more uh, responsibility. 
But this is because you know he wants them to improve, so he's pushing them to improve by challenging them with a little bit of suffering, a little bit of pressure, sometimes embarrassment. <laughs> a very traditional Chinese way. So now the two over there that have the evaluation. So they have to stay like that until the, this is gonna be. Yeah. Finished. Yeah. Or until Sifu says. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> when you were training, you were being punished too, or? Yeah. So when we trained the first class, we had the same. Sometimes we have to do the mabu, but also sometimes frog jumps or duck walks or walking push-ups. It depends on how Sifu was feeling that day. Sometimes we have labor like go clean this or go fix that but most of the time uh, that's like a, a reward if you train all week and then your punishment is go sweep the floor that's mm. kind of nice what's your worst punishment for me yeah um, we used to do a stretching evaluation and if you don't get chin to toe or you don't get full splits he would take a stick a very thin long soft stick and then you have to do a push-up and he would beat your legs. You felt like humiliated when he, when he did like... Most of the time it's this. Especially for our class, it's more of a emotional discipline. Because you get called out in front of the class and sometimes, even better, you don't get punished individually like they do now. In our class, you get punished as a group. Just because of you, right? right. If you made a mistake... So like, I'm late for class. Everyone's, everyone has to run. Everyone has to do something. So this is the other practice that the traditional class students have to do while they're here. Um, they all have to participate in traditional Chinese calligraphy. So they all have to kind of present what they did this week or the new characters they learned. There's a lot of similarities between calligraphy and martial arts. All about discipline. All about discipline. And the precision. Yes, and the, like being conscious of your breath, being conscious of how you hold the brush, and things like this is really important. That's beautiful. I wanted to meet you because I wanted to ask you which suggestion could you give me for my research of uh, happiness? Do you believe the reincarnation? Uh, I don't know. First, you have to know three questions. First, where you where you come from? You know, I say I when I ask you where you come from, then you say you are, are from Italy, but it's not that. Okay. This is this 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 is our physical home. You know, so everybody have home. You know, every home is Earth. Everybody stay here. Mm -hmm. So you have to know where you come from. Then what for? People don't know. That's why a lot of people. Ah, I don't like my job, I don't like this, I don't like this. So, what should you do? You know, you don't know. So people get so confused. Everybody come here have a mission. People don't know their mission. They don't get the signal. They don't get the information from, from the universe, from a dog. Mm. They don't get it. It's like a mobile. They turn to the the, you know, the, the fly motor. And the third, where you go. Everybody was there, the end. The physical body was dead. So, where you go? Think of the three part questions. Then you will understand. If I have to ask you those three questions to you, what would you answer? We come from a door, from a universe, a door. The sun here is, is a mission, you know. So we come from a door. What's your mission? Now my mission is teaching. Teaching. I want to help more people to understand, to find their Bengu, find their own, their self. You know, I, I want to try this, to do this way. That's what I'm doing now. I'm very happy with this kind of job. Sometimes I'm busy, tired, but I'm happy. I like this kind of job. This is my mission. You know, I know my mission is like that. You know, then where we, where we go, you know, I know through through the training, I find another spaces. And when I was really doing practice and quiet sitting there, no any and uh, dis disturb, dis disturbance. disturbs, you know. And I'm quiet, I don't have anything, I am putting my mind. It's like I go some place, I, I was really enjoying this place. 
you know, it's traveling there. It's like a, another space. I can I can try to explain something there, but you can see everything is like a floating. It's not like the Earth. We stay here. We stable, but this is floating, floating, mm. and. Uh, I see some people there, and uh, if people see that I cannot see the face. It's just they just move very quickly. We say they immortal, but I don't know what exactly immortal. It sounds crazy, but uh, for myself, I believe it. Mm -hmm. Is is there something? I'm not dream. It's not dream. I'm just very weak. You know, I got there. You said to me that I need to find my mission on Earth, but it feels to me that. Not right now, I want to have many missions. Like this year, I want to have the mission to find happiness, to understand how to be happy all the time or more often. Next year, I would like to have another mission. The other year, I want to have the other mission. Is it okay or you think that you have to have an ultimate mission, just one mission? Doesn't matter what kind of job you do, you know, and uh, just do it. You love it. I accept it, I'm happy. If I'm not accepted, you know, I, I against it. I feel uncomfortable. And the energy, your energy, your body around you, the energy. And uh, from, uh, from the, the universe, the energy around you were changed, were polluted. It's because it polluted the energy, it's because of you. Hmm. So we love it, we're happy, and the energy become very pure. You know, it's protection. This is really good protection. It's like a water, you know, one cup, one cup of water there. Half of, you know, cup of water. The water is clean. You can put a clean water there, you can drink it. If the water is dirty, you put the, the, the clean water there, they become dirty too. If you weren't a Sifu in your life, and you were a farmer, would have you accepted it? <laughs> I was a farmer, I was walking. Uh, doing a lot of, you know, planting the rice, you know, vegetables. I, I did this. I did this. You liked it? I was happy too. I don't like it, but I accept it. I know mm. this is not my way, you know, but I still do it. I'm happy. 1990s, I came to Bhutan and was a temple. No good food. I trained very tired, you know, but I trained more time than 10 hours a day, you know. I still keep training and I'm very happy too. Mm. So what are you going to do? And after the temple, I came out from the temple and I opened my school. I'm still tired, but I still have to accept it. I like it, mm. you know. So everybody have a hard life, but it's how you treat it. You know, how you manage it, how you accept it. Now if you become report, like, you know, you like it. Mm. Even you're tired, you climb the mountain, very tired, but you, when, you, when you have very good view, you forget everything. Oh, I'm enjoying the nature, you know, the same. We have a lot of beautiful things around us. And now the young kids, the young population, is just now they don't feel like a happiness. They don't feel happiness. It's because they don't have a hard job. They don't have a hard part of life, you know. Mm. They're too young, the parents, everything to get ready for the kids. The kids enjoy it too much. And they don't know what is a hard job, what is a hard life. They don't they have nothing to compare. That's why they're not happy. They lost. Mm. They lost. Without sadness, you cannot know the happiness. Without pain, you cannot know the joy. This is what you, you are saying? If you through the training, you already understand. You join my school to training, you understand which part is enjoying part, which part is the hardest part. Everybody understand. Jake, Jake follow me, you know. <laughs> he really understand. He really now he really care for. He really happy his job now. I trained him five years. Very hard training. Every day eight hours training. So how hard you think you can imagine? And now he think ah oh, the job for me is nothing. You know. Now it's more comfortable, he's just teaching, more comfortable. If you don't have the five years hard training, he don't know that maybe the job is, is boring, you know. He, he not really uh, appreciate. 
Tifu, thank you so much. It was great. I felt, I feel blessed to to hear your your words. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you to let allow me to to see your academy. I'm really appreciate you come to to interview to talk about this because you also doing something good, you know, to help people to think about it. Mm -hmm. You know, who I am. You know, yeah. What should I do? What's my mission? Yeah. You know. I hope more people understand and find the answer. They find their self and enjoy themselves. You know, life is beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you.